from World of Concrete 2019 here at the Las Vegas Convention Center. I'd like you to meet Sarah McGuire with Geotech. How are you? I'm doing well, Roger. How Will you, are you bring an interesting concept product to this show this year? Yes, we definitely do. <laughs> yes, you definitely do. Tell but I'm a little biased. Like, yeah, well, you're the sales manager, so why yeah. shouldn't you be? Correct. <laughs> okay, give us an idea what this piece of equipment does. So, just to give you a bit of background about Geotech, um, we've only been in the industry for about eight years, and we started by bringing some really advanced concepts to test durability of concrete, doing corrosion analysis, the durability of concrete, the resistivity, right. and all of those things. But then we started to move more into the sensor business, because we really found that there was this unique um, experience that a lot of contractors just in our own local area that they were experiencing um, were from Ottawa, Canada. It's very cold there yeah. and people have issues with their concrete curing. But we can't stop in the winter. We can't stop pouring concrete in the winter. We have to keep going. And uh, so our company came out with a wireless sensor. It uses the maturity method, which is standardized by it's ASTM. It's called Smart Rock. Smart Rock, yes. Um, and so that's the, the sensor that we use to give you the not just the temperature of your concrete, but the strength as well and it's happening all in real time and it's giving it to you right on your cell phone everyone has a cell phone these days everybody's Roger, got a cell phone you have a cell phone absolutely what kind of cell phone do you have i have a, uh, an ipad I, iphone. iphone perfect iPhone. those are the best ones because they have the strongest bluetooth chips and our sensors work with bluetooth so you embed the sensors really with bluetooth with bluetooth yes it sends an infrared signal yes it sends a signal of about 20 to 25 feet um, or eight to six meters and uh, you just walk around on your job site, you pick up all the data on your phone, and it automatically shares to all of your colleagues that you want. So it's just very quick, very seamless, and we're trying to make it as efficient as possible. And what does this do for the contractor at the job site? So the How contractor, does this help the contractor? We're trying to speed up, either protect them from a liability standpoint, but ah. most importantly, we're speeding up their construction time. Um, these days, with profit margins being so low yes. for contractors, we're trying to, to speed up as much time as they can because sure. a lot of our contractors will say that just one day of spending on a job site, if they have to spend an extra day, could cost them between twelve to fifteen thousand dollars. Absolutely. The labor costs, the cost of time having all the equipment. Money. <laughs> time is definitely money. And honestly, if you can save one day on a construction site, you're you're off selling, you're off putting the cost of your sensors right, right out the gate. They're not that expensive. Right. Yeah. Very interesting. And and these sensors can be used over and over again, it's, it's just a, a, a Bluetooth signal, basically? Yeah, so the sensors, once you put them in, they're obviously in concrete. You can't dig them out of concrete right. again. And it's giving you those readings continuously. So they're, so they're put in as the pour continues? That's right. We wrap them around the rebar. As soon as ah. you wrap them in, sensors turn on, and then it starts taking the temperature, and your phone does other, all the calculations after that. So how many sensors would you need, let's say, for a 12 by 18 pad? So it's, it's really by cubic yard. Okay. Um, and we usually recommend, or what we see our contractors using, is one for every 100 cubic yards. Um, the, guide, the guidelines are very vague, um, but the practice is basically, what we're trying to eliminate is the, is the reliance on cylinder tests, because what happens with these cylinder tests that are being poured on the construction site, they're supposed to give you the accurate depiction of what's happening in your slab, so that you can crush them at certain times, you know what your temperature, sure. sorry, you know what your strength is going to be right. at those certain times. But what happens is those cylinders are not necessarily accurate to what's really happening in the concrete pour. So imagine you have a big mass concrete pour, it's a couple feet deep. What's happening at the surface is not happening at the core. Right. And so we want to place the sensors in the areas where they're the most critical to the curing of concrete. Describe the sensor, the little disc? So it's a little blue, it's a little chip about an inch and a half by an inch and a half. Um, it embeds in, the sense, uh, embeds in the concrete around the rebar. There's metal twist ties that as soon as you twist them, it activates and it starts taking the measurements. And the temperature cable actually runs down so that you're not limited by that Bluetooth range. Ah. So you can stretch that really deep if you need to. So especially when you're working on mass pores, vertical elements, you want to be able to see the difference in those, you know, those curing times. Interesting concept. Yeah. Very interesting. I'm learning something yeah. here. But you know, what, what we're really doing is we've made maturity simpler. So I'll tell you a bit about what maturity is. It's, it's a concept that's been around since the 1960s mostly been used in practice since the 1990s, uh, but unfortunately yes. this is a concept that people are using to try and speed up their construction time. 
But what we were finding is that people are using a lot of wires, a lot of hardware, a lot of expensive readers that they need to carry around. The transfer inf information just wasn't very efficient. And by making this wireless in a plug and play system, we've eliminated all of that. So when you're using this concept to try and speed up construction time, but you're using devices that don't necessarily help you do that, we wanted to solve that problem. And so we've really found that with this, we have customers from around the world where we don't even communicate the same language and they're using our product just fine. Then we have other customers where we work very hands-on with them because they work in very big sure. projects and we yeah. want to do that. Everything's different. Everything's different. Yeah. Um, but in the past, we really had to do this very educational stage with our, our contractors. Right. Three years ago when we came to market with this product, if you typed in wireless maturity sensor, you wouldn't really find anything about it. Um, now it's just taken off because our company, I mean, there's a lot that attributes it to it. The maturity method is becoming more common, but also our company worked really hard to educate people on how this can help them. And we've really seen a turnaround in the way that people are saving time is money. People are saving a lot of time on yeah, their projects. That's the way. They have the power to be able to make the decisions in their hands, and it's just been made so easy for them, and, and that's really exciting to see. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I sure want to thank you thank very you much for bringing your message. It's an interesting concept. Yes, it, it is. really is. Yes. Sarah McLaughlin with Geotech, part of the Smart Rock system. Check them out. Do you have a booth here at the show? We do have a booth. Um, we're in the Central Hall okay. at 4177. Good. And Sorry, Central Hall 4137. 4137. And the North Hall, we're actually also over there. Um, North 1577. You've remembered that. Lots of sevens in there. There's lots of numbers to remember <laughs> here. Absolutely. Sarah McGuire with Geotech right here on World of Concrete 2019.